Hello. Hello, everyone. Good Good afternoon. Hello. Let's wait maybe a few, one minute or two, let more people join us. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hello, guys. Hello. Nice to see you. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you here. And uh, I'm pleased to uh, have this introduction uh, lecture, uh, first meeting on the course Physics uh, 1, uh, where we will focus on uh, mechanics, molecular physics, and thermodynamics during this semester. <laughs> so, uh, as you already aware of, unfortunately, during this uh, pandemic conditions, we cannot offer you an opportunity to come to our campus. Uh, students uh, online. Uh, so we have already some uh, experience organizing this uh, starting from last year. And uh, um, I believe that everything will work smoothly and you will uh, experience uh, good learning conditions and uh, the outcome of uh, this course will be high. Uh, <clears throat> so let us talk now about, uh, so first of all, who may not know. Uh, my name is Victor Bruce. I'm assistant professor at uh, Department of Physics of Nazarbayev University. And uh, um, this is section three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we will uh, work together. I will be your instructor for uh, this semester. So this uh, three times per week, um, discussions will happen, uh, these online lectures uh, will be Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Friday at 12 uh, p.m. So we uh, have this online flipped course nowadays, as you may read in this uh, manual for the course. Uh, so the main idea is that you uh, work with the textbook, which is available online for everyone. And uh, when you have any questions which are related to uh, physics, like physics concepts and some um, equations, like which quantity we describe these co uh, concepts, um, you're welcome to ask questions and we uh, are here to discuss them. Uh, of course, uh, taking into account this previous experience, that doesn't necessarily work like this. And uh, there are not so many questions that we can cover all um, time for uh, dedicated for these uh, online uh, discussions. That's why my plan is to um, deliver you certain important um, concepts uh, in the form of lecture, just online. And on the way, we will have chances to discuss uh, either your questions, which you have uh, related to uh, physics concepts, which you learn from the textbook, or that material which will be delivered by me. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that is the most uh, efficient way to uh, go for it. Um, we worked already two semesters like that and uh, was pretty fine for everyone. Uh, 
So I hope you got this link to the syllabus and course manual uh, and you had a chance to read it. So who didn't, please uh, pay attention to uh, this course manual. That is the most essential information for you because it has very detailed description of um, every uh, organizational moments of our online course. <clears throat> And uh, I believe now it makes sense for us as um, this introductory uh, meeting uh, to go through this manual uh, together. And on the way, while well, I will uh, try to explain you um, the structure of the course and how we are going to work, uh, it will be uh, a chance also for asking questions. Uh, I'm sure there will be many questions, uh, so we will uh, try to clarify all these moments so you have a very clear understanding how this course is organized, uh, what it is expected from you, and um, based on what uh, your final grade will be determined. So now, uh, if you have uh, any questions right now, you're welcome. I will uh, just open this manual and maybe share with you the screen. Okay, do you see my screen now, guys? Yes. 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 Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the document, uh, Physics 161 course manual, and uh, um, with this document, you should be very well familiar. Uh, so we will work in long kappa, and uh, who doesn't know, and quite natural that uh, you guys are not familiar with this online platform. So this is uh, online platform for um, providing assignments to students and giving them option to solve um, physics. Uh, like different, but we are talking about physics problems uh, online, uh, submitting your answers uh, within this uh, system. And um, then uh, it will be uh, automatically uh, evaluated and provided uh, some um, points which you earn for uh, doing your homework assignments. Or uh, additionally, you will have this midterms and final exam they will be carried out also uh, in, uh, by uh, using this online platform, Long <clears throat> um, You will get, or maybe as have already gotten, access and credentials for logging to Long Kappa. If by any means you haven't yet got this, uh, please contact our Long Kappa administrator. Uh, Azamat. Uh, <clears throat> here is his name. Uh, let me check. Uh, Azamat Arasbayo. You can check his email uh, in. Um, in uh, your university email. Uh, however, if necessary just let me know if you don't if you cannot find his email i will just send uh, it to everyone uh it should be somewhere here one second i probably can maybe find yeah here his email just to be sure that you have it So that is important at the early beginning that uh, you get this uh, uh, credentials. I think that it will be done in the nearest future. So you don't need to worry right now uh, because it will take some days to uh, check all the list of the registered students and then put them in the uh, system and provide access to Long Kappa. Uh, in order to 
do this, we don't provide any uh, homework assignments during the first week. Uh, then starting from second week, you will get home assignments, but uh, home assignment for the second week will not be um, evaluated. So it's kind of training assignment. So you have a chance to uh, learn to work with Longkapa uh, to submit answers. At first login, uh, submit uh, answers. Um, please be very careful with submitting answers. So usually you need to submit with three <clears throat> uh, significant digits. Uh, your numerical answers and also you need to put um, their the units. Uh, be aware that this uh, is online system and you need to submit in according to the requirements because if for instance you put comma instead of dot, uh, your answer will not be considered as correct and um, that will be not counted as a correct answer. So um, we, have, we will have a chance to practice during this second week with uh, homework assignments. Uh, and uh, please uh, read instructions to the long kappa and the requirements for the formats of your answers, because that is very important. And uh, again, based on our previous experience, uh, unfortunately, many students um, initially didn't pay enough attention to the format. And uh, there were, of course, um, many lost points. So don't repeat these mistakes. Already during the second semester when they had physics two, the situation was much better. Uh, it was uh, much easier to work, but for people who just come uh, first time and work for the first time with Long Kappa, um, it, is, it may be kind of a challenging moment. And that's why I, uh, uh, specifically focus your attention on this uh, point. Sorry, uh, oh, do yes. we have review answer option in the long kappa? Uh, no, you have just option to put your uh, answer. So you do the calculations. Uh, so you derive the final equation, uh, which actually is the way how it should be uh, done in order to prevent possibilities or going beyond the uh, error, which is set at uh, 1%, I, as I remember. Uh, but more detailed information can be provided by uh, Azamat, these technical questions on Long Kappa. Uh, he is the Long Kappa uh, administrator. Uh, but in order to have less chances to uh, collect step-by-step -step, uh, some uh, errors, uh, you strongly recommended to derive the final equation and then substitute uh, known the given parameters in the final equation, uh, then get the numerical uh, answer. And in the correct format, which is required by long kappa, you will put this numerical answer. And also uh, next to it, there will be um, a field for units. So you will also write correct units there. If this is uh, unitless uh, number, then it will be just numerical answer. So this is how it works. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, so let us come back to the uh, um, evaluation of your work and based on what you will get your final grade, which is probably the most important part here. Uh, so we will have, as uh, we already mentioned, weekly homework assignments. Uh, so you will get 20% of your final grade uh, associated with this weekly assignment. Um, it will be something around 10, 12 problems per week, uh, which will be provided uh, within Long Kappa for all of you guys. And uh, you will need to solve them and provide uh, answers within one cup. So this will be starting from second week. And uh, this first assignment during second week is training assignment. Uh, then all others will be uh, evaluated. Uh, <clears throat> and also another thing which uh, we try to address 
uh, some possible uh, issues which you guys can um, experience working remotely. Uh, there may be some issues with internet or some technical issues with your equipment. So it's possible that because of some unexpected uh, circumstances, you could not uh, solve these problems or could not uh, submit answers. That's why, like in time, and that's why the lowest grade um, for homework, weekly homework assignment among all will be automatically not counted towards your uh, final grade. Uh, so the second, uh, and actually the most important component of your final grade will be based on uh, midterms and final exams. So this is 60%. Uh, you have the schedule uh, of midterms. It is here in this table where we have a schedule for the course, the general schedule uh, divided by uh, weeks and for each week, we have a list of uh, chapters which will be discussed during this week. Uh, also, here we have dates yeah, when we have these midterms. So for instance, our first midterm will be on uh, Saturday. So all midterms will be in final exam. They will be carried out on Saturdays in order to prevent possible interference with um, other uh, lectures and courses. Uh, so it will be uh, on uh, September 11. Uh, how it works? You will get uh, within this time window from 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, on Saturday, uh, September 11, a chance to log in into um, Locapa. Uh, there will be certain number of problems. I do not know exact number. Uh, and uh, 45 minutes uh, will be provided for you within this time window um, in order to uh, solve these problems and provide uh, correct or maybe not correct answers. That already depends on you. Uh, so we have three midterms like this. They are scheduled here in this table. Um, the final exam is not scheduled here because it will be scheduled at the end of the course um, when time is available. Uh, so it is important to, sorry, where is this? Yeah. It is important to underline that all three midterms and final exams, they have uh, the same weight. Uh, and uh, uh, again, the lowest grade for midterm or final exam will not be um, counted uh, towards your final grade. Uh, another uh, and the last component of uh, your final grade will be based on laboratory assignments. Uh, so you will definitely have laboratory work uh, and uh, that will contribute 20% to the final grade. Um, with laboratory works. So as you may see, we have here this uh, column with uh, laboratory topic. And we see that there is no meeting, laboratory meeting during first week. Then during second week, you will have some introductory session. And as follows, you will have uh, different uh, laboratory works to uh, work with and uh, write laboratory reports. So all questions related to uh, laboratory uh, works, uh, they should be discussed with your uh, laboratory assistants uh, and uh, also with uh, a laboratory administrate, ad administrator, Zakup, um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Asem Zakupo, yeah. Uh, if in some cases that is, very rare, but happens. Uh, if you cannot, um, uh, by the way, Asem Zakupova lab coordinator, she is responsible for 
uh, organizational parts. So equipment and uh, uh, also making these videos for uh, these uh, conditions of online teaching uh, and stuff like that. So um, all uh, technical work in terms of um, providing instructions and evaluating your um, lab reports will be carried out by lab assistants. And uh, you definitely will know uh, your lab assistant, that group which will be led by uh, lab assistants, and uh, uh, you will be in contact with them directly. If under some conditions, there will be some uh, issue in terms of uh, finding a compromise between you guys and lab assistant in terms of evaluating the lab report. Um, you will need to meet personally first uh, via online some platform, try to explain why you're not agreed with the, uh, this grade uh, which you got for your lab report. Um, if that doesn't help and you are firmly convinced that uh, you deserve a better grade, like I mean your lab report deserves better grade, uh, you will have a chance to fill this uh, form at the end of the, as an example, at the end of this uh, course manual, it's called grade appeal form with all information and uh, description, detailed description of the case, uh, what is uh, going on and uh, why you believe that it should, the grade should be different. Um, then this appeal form, uh, you can submit to our lab administrator, who is um, assistant professor at physics department. Uh, his name is here. Is Bakhtiyar Horasbay. Uh, so this person will be responsible for such cases of misunderstanding, possible misunderstanding between LAs and students, and uh, make some final uh, recommendations uh, while either supporting your appeal or not. So this is a question related to lab work. Let us see what else we need to highlight here. Oh, actually here you have this email from uh, to, to contact Azamat, our Long Kappa administrator. But that will be later, don't email now because it takes time to uh, work with all lists of students, plus there could be some shuffling of students from one uh, section to another, and uh, that should be all uh, be settled already, uh, because uh, we need to have a uh, final list of students for each section to, uh, section to proceed with the registration in Long Kappa, and also proceed with the uh, preparation for this uh, list of where we be collect all grades. Uh, so you have the textbooks. Here are links. And uh, based on the, the schedule, which we provide here in this manual, uh, you will uh, have a solid understanding uh, which chapters during which weeks uh, should be covered. Uh, you should read them beforehand, uh, try to understand. And uh, during these discussions uh, online, uh, three times per week, we will meet and um, discuss the most, I will deliver uh, some forms of, of lecture based on the most uh, essential concepts, which should be understood. Uh, and also you will have a chance to ask uh, questions and uh, uh, try to understand what you uh, missed from reading the textbook. Uh, when you contact some 
Uh, what, let's say there are some questions regarding uh, midterms or some organizational questions, um, grades. Um, you're always supposed to contact your uh, instructor. Um, I mean, instructor of your section. Please don't send emails to other instructors because that creates some mess and it is uh, difficult then to handle all these requests. Uh, we will just not respond because we check those students who are within our se section and uh, that is our uh, field of uh, responsibility to work with. So in order to keep it uh, clear and easy to handle, uh, please be in contact only with uh, your uh, instructor. Uh, in case if during home assignment or during um, your uh, midterm or final exam, you convinced for 100% that there is some issue with the problem, one of the problems provided for you, Let's say there is missing some uh, input information, or there is, uh, from your point of view, after many checks, uh, you believe that the, you provided correct answer, but Long Kappa didn't accept it. Uh, there is a very small chance that this happens. Uh, we try to check the uh, online provided uh, problems within Long Kappa. However, there are some technical issues sometimes, and uh, that is possible that uh, your correct answer may not be accepted. Uh, in this case, after careful check, don't please uh, try to convince me that um, your solution is correct and all your solutions are correct and all your uh, problems within Long Kappa were wrong. That is very unlikely. Uh, but it can happen. And if it happens, you uh, email me screenshots of Long Kappa problem, screenshot of your solution, and uh, that solution which provides, which recommends Long Kappa, uh, with a statement that your solution is not correct. And also uh, a photo of, or copy of step-by-step -step, uh, solution of this problem written by you by hand. And uh, uh, please write very clearly so we can understand what you wrote there uh, without too, many, too much effort. And uh, uh, this appeal regarding uh, long kappa problem or homework assignments or midterms or final exam will be uh, considered by all uh, instructors of all sections on our meetings. And uh, in later, you will, uh, if this was real issue with the long kappa problem, you will get your uh, point. If not, if your uh, solution is wrong, then of course you will not get this point. But keep in mind that there is uh, such uh, possibility and uh, you definitely are encouraged to use this possibility uh, in order to get uh, those points which you deserve for. And uh, that is correct approach to this. Uh, however, be uh, very responsible and try to uh, check many times before you uh, submit appeal because you understand if uh, currently I have two uh, sections uh, of this course, it's um, total 200, 270 students. So if everyone submits such appeals, it will be really a big challenge. Uh, okay, so uh, please ask your questions and we can also go through them because I may miss something when I just uh, try to go through um, this. 
I'm sorry, I have a question. Like, for example, sure. if we send if we send our um, answer to the long kappa, but then the answer is not correct, can we like uh, if we send our uh, way of solving this problem? I mean, step by step, written by hand. Uh, can you give us points, for example, if the way of solving all the equations they were uh, correct, but only like counting was incorrect? No, no. Unfortunately, that is impossible. Uh, we keep all students at the same um, conditions, and uh, uh, it should be everything correct you should get the correct answer within this error with correct um, units uh, only in that case this point for this particular problem can be uh, taken uh, the exception is only of course if there is some issue technical issue with the problem so you physically cannot uh, solve it because there's something missing or uh, it just provides wrong answer. Then, of course, only under such uh, condition, uh, you can write your correct answer. If your correct final answer will be uh, within the error provided, like accepted by long kappa, uh, then uh, this point will be given to you. Uh, if not, then uh, that's why please be very uh, careful when you do calculations because, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, try to derive the final equation. In that case, you will deal only with one equation instead of dealing with three or five equations. It could be simple equations, small, but somewhere you will just make a technical uh, mistake or miss some number, and then it increases chances that you will be out of this narrow range accepted for um, the correct answer. Uh, so in order to reduce these chances, derive final equation, check units of your of the term which you get, which you calculate with your final equation, it should be a correct unit, which is expected within the uh, given problem. Uh, and only after that, you start to substitute numerical values of known given terms uh, and get the numerical uh, value of a known term. So this is how it uh, works. And uh, uh, again, be aware of format because comma instead of dot, uh, and this answer will not be accepted. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Yes, sure. Uh, this is a very quick question. I assume long kappa, when we submit our works to long kappa, it only asks for the final answer. There, there is no need to submit the solution or? Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. You don't submit any uh, solution, you submit the final answer. And- uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, if everything is, uh, is fine uh, in terms of if it's correct, okay. If it's not correct and you understand that you made a mistake, that's, that's also fair. Uh, however, if you check it many times and believe that uh, your answer is correct and there is some, maybe some issue with the uh, problem, you can uh, send this appeal. With, again, I repeat it, uh, screenshot of your one cup of problem, yours, answer which is not accepted and a uh, copy of your step-by-step -step solution. Um, can I ask real quick, um, do you require any proctoring system during the midterms or um, weekly assignments? So during weekly assignments, there is no mechanism to monitor your work. But during uh, midterm and final exams, um, there can be a selective check of, of students just based on, on their performance and based on 
their current results uh, or just random uh, check for some students, we can uh, reach them and uh, provide some um, questions uh, just to be sure that everything is going uh, properly. Uh, but there is no mm, such approach, for instance, that you need to uh, turn on your camera and it will be filming while you are doing this work. Uh, nothing like that. So uh, by definition, we trust you guys and we uh, uh, expect that you take the responsibility to do this work properly. It's in your uh, interest uh, because this understanding of uh, general physics is relevant to uh, anyone who is doing uh, some research on or study in field of uh, STEM. And uh, uh, we just believe that all of you guys are interested in uh, learning things and getting it correctly. Can yeah. I ask a question? Yes, Sultan. Mm -hmm. uh, could you please explain how laboratory uh, assignments look like and what we have to do there? Um, well, I mean, uh, I can just give you a very general uh, idea uh, because there are, as I mentioned, a laboratory coordinator and laboratory assistant. Uh, who will work directly with you and provide all necessary information. Uh, but I understand this question because taking into account these conditions of online uh, teaching that is uh, not clear how it can be organized properly online. So, uh, so far we work like this. It, uh, you will get uh, assignment in the form of some video where the experiment is filmed. And uh, uh, based on that assignment, you will take some experimental data from the video uh, and process this data according to the uh, tasks given within this laboratory work. One, once it's done, uh, you uh, will prepare. So you guys will be grouped uh, together, like three person in one group. And uh, you will share work for uh, doing laboratory works and writing uh, laboratory um, uh, reports between you three of you guys. And then this laboratory report will be submitted to your laboratory assistant, um, which will be later evaluated. So uh, please be aware that. Uh, any plagiarism is uh, strictly forbidden uh, in writing your reports. That uh, is quite rare, but sometimes happens. Uh, so you will automatically uh, be punished for any uh, issues like that, uh, because all laboratory reports, they will be uh, checked for plagiarism. Uh, automatically with uh, specialized software. So that is not accepted in any form. Can I have another question, please? Sure, my dear. Uh, it's actually two quick questions. Uh, the first one is, for example, if we were to submit our answers uh, on our weekly assignments, and let's say some people obviously will make some mistakes. Oh, are you going to explain how to correctly solve these uh, problems in the next uh, lection? Uh, that's the first question. And mm -hmm. the second question is about the long kappa system. It said that they have IP proctoring on. I would like to ask, for, uh, for example, how that IP proctoring works because uh, my internet service provider uh, tends to change my IP address uh, because it's a dynamic IP address. Will that cause any problems? Mm -hmm. the proctoring okay, thank you for, for questions. Uh, first question uh, regarding the, the uh, problems for assignments. 
uh, you, in parallel to these online discussions, you have uh, your recitations, where, which are specifically designed for um, solving problems. And that is the platform where all problems will be discussed. Um, and definitely, there you will have a chance to uh, go through these uh, questions which you have for certain problems, which you couldn't understand or which uh, are not clear for you. Uh, within our uh, online uh, discussion sections, this is online lectures, we discuss physics and uh, uh, try to understand the physics concepts, uh, derive uh, equations which are quantitatively describing these physics concepts, uh, try to understand where they come from and what they mean. Uh, so that is our work within this uh, uh, course and uh, as an instructor who delivers this uh, online lectures and uh, online discussions uh, with uh, me you will discuss uh, purely physics uh, of course during the uh, course we will have some examples or it's like some some problems examples in order to make more clear the message um, and explanation of some physics concepts uh, but that will be just in educational uh, purpose. Uh, instead, all uh, solving problems, tasks will be uh, carried out during recitations. Uh, second question, I believe that that will not be a problem. So don't worry about that. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I may ask the question. Um, yes, are, sure, you're welcome. Are we allowed to use some external sources for our lab reports, like, um, I don't know, some theories taken from textbooks or like some internet sources? And if you're allowed, should we use some kind of citation forms like APA or MLA? Um, yes, that's it. Uh, you mean for preparation for uh, laboratory? Not like preparation, but for lab uh, reports, like when we are Okay, writing. yeah, sure, of course you are. Uh, Encourage to use external sources in order to uh, give explanation of uh, your observations during the uh, laboratory work, and uh, you just properly cite those sources. That is important. Uh, however, that is part of the work, actually. So you definitely need to uh, provide some references and uh, use some sources to um, gain more information about the topic and uh, write a decent lab report in order to get a grade for this. And course. should we use some certain um, citation formats like APA or MLA or no, American? Or no, no. Just a link, yes? Yeah, uh, let's say that's my understanding right now. Uh, you definitely need to repeat this question to your LA. But uh, I believe that there is no uh, strict requirement for a reference style. Uh, it just has to provide all information that it's clear what uh, source of information you used. And uh, uh, that's all. There's no form. OK, thank you. Can I, can I ask mm -hmm. one off topic question, please? Yes, sure. Are you from Ukraine? Yes, I am. So, do you support the claim that Krim Nash, like? <laughs> yeah, I think okay. that okay, the scope of our online discussion. And yeah, that, that was off topic, to, just an interest of mine. Yes, thank Thanks. you for your question. It's quite interesting, yeah, uh, this topic, but I guess we will uh, focus more on physics during this. Uh, Okay, there is a question about uh, following Zoom meeting uh, meetings mandatory or not. Okay, so um, let's discuss this part that's also important. So we have, as I mentioned, three times per week during whole semester, excluding some uh, holidays and this uh, uh, fall vocation. Uh, 
So you are, it's not mandatory for you to attend all uh, online lectures. Obviously, it, it even most likely technically even impossible because uh, there are many issues with this online delivery and uh, access to internet for all lectures. There are many of them in discussions. However, uh, please don't forget that these uh, lectures and discussions are here, uh, that they are made for you because I believe that there's a chance that you will learn something uh, new and uh, will have a chance to discuss some physics concepts which are not clear for you. Uh, so I strongly encourage you to attend the meetings, but of course they are not mandatory. Uh, this is the first comment. And second comment that, uh, as was mentioned in this uh, uh, letter, which I sent to all of you guys, like welcome letter, uh, all, uh, we will try to provide you this uh, asynchronous uh, learning experience and capabilities. So we will record this. Uh, discussions and uh, lectures delivered, and then they will be available uh, online. So you have access to them in any time when, for instance, your internet is back up um, and running. Uh, so this is the answer to your question, uh, not mandatory, but strongly uh, recommended. Okay, any additional questions? I believe we are, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm sorry, there was information about like quiz after the lesson, after our first meeting. Uh, can you repeat please? I didn't get. There was an inform. am I audible? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, there was an information about quiz after the lesson, like first meeting, will we have this quiz or not? Oh, no, we don't have any quiz. Uh, if you have any questions now, you are welcome to uh, ask. Uh, now we can definitely discuss it. If you have any questions a bit later, because maybe now you don't keep like out of your head all questions and there are some questions which organizational, I mean, uh, we can definitely uh, discuss them at the beginning of next lecture. So I think that there are no uh, problems with this. Can I ask a question too? Yes, sure. So we should contact as a matter of bio only if you have a problem with registration or login on one couple, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, but don't start contacting him right now. Uh, you can uh, wait until the end of this week. Uh, it will take some time to register, to create your pro, uh, account in this uh, Long Kappa platform. And uh, afterwards, you will get notification from Azamat, as I believe most likely it will be like that. Uh, and uh, uh, during the second week, when you get assignment, this test assignment, which will not be evaluated, then you will try to log in. Um, you will, if you experience problems in with logging, uh, you will uh, contact Azamat, he will solve this problem. Um, and then of course you will practice to uh, submit uh, your answers within Long Kappa. That's another thing which is very important. So please uh, focus on this moment. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Can I ask? Okay, for today, I think we are running of time already. We have another section uh, soon. And uh, uh, of course, if you have any organizational questions uh, left, we will dedicate some time during our uh, meeting uh, on Wednesday to uh, make it uh, all crystal clear. And uh, uh, then we will continue uh, with the discussion of. Uh, physics concepts, starting from kinematics and so on. 
Okay, guys, thank you very much for attention. It was uh, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank uh, you a lot, with all of you. And uh, um, of course, it would be great to uh, see you in person. Uh, however, I think we will have good uh, experience working together uh, under any conditions uh, of this online restriction, online teaching. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Too. Bye. Coming here and thank have you. a good evening. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.